Hi everybody, it's Kebani here. Now, today I'm going to show you how to design this everyday flyer. Let's step into Photoshop. The dimension I'm going to use is 2000 here, 2000 and then 3000 for the resolution set here to pixels. Let's call it B, D, RGB, everything like this and click on create. I also want you to go to view, go to guard, so new guard layout. And then I want you to set here to 2, set the rows to 2 and set the margins to 100 across and then click on ok i want you to go and drag your image i'm going to leave everything in the description for you let's drag this image into photoshop and then let's also resize it enter let's put it in a group and then let's call it image now we are also going to bring in the background and let's drag this into photoshop and then let's release it now i want you to close the image and i want you to drag this one underneath it also put it in a group and then call it bg you're going to work a little bit on the background i want you to bring in some few adjustment and so let's go and then let's bring in levels drag this side all the way down not too much though and then drag this one also let's see you can see the background is taking too much attention we want to set the focus on the image in front the foreground so let's give it a filter let's go to blur let's go to gaussian blur and then let's set the Gaussian blur to around 6, 6 point something. That way you can see the background, but you can't really see the details well. Click on OK. And then let's also bring in some few exposures as well. I want it to be a little bit dark so that the image, the foreground will be a little bit brighter. So let's drag this down. Awesome. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to pick solid color, set it to color black. And then the on this mask click on the white mask here come and pick your brush set your caps lock off increase the size a little bit by going to this side you know increase the size a little bit and then set this point to color black as well opacity and flow 100 and then mask all this area let's reduce the opacity set here to color white and then bring in more i still feel like the image should be a little bit up and then we want this light to stand out because we are going to use this light source that is black we are going to use this light source we are also going to use this light source and we are going to use this light source and then this one as well this image even though it matches the background we need to give it um make it more realistic bring curves clip it to it hold alt and click on auto now click on find dark and light colors click on the shadows and go and pick the darkest side of it I feel like the darker side is this size so i'm going to pick it now click on the highlights the highlight is where the light source is so where are the light source which ones do you think we should pick this is the light source we'll click on it and then click on ok just like that we have matched it to the background no okay but then also we need to reduce the opacity a little bit to make it blend so i'm going to drag it all the way to maybe around um around 40 40 is good now, let's bring in our text as well let's click here and then let's bring in our text happy birthday and then paste it there go to character and then we are going to use this particular font wicked mouse i'm going to leave everything in the description for you let's pick color white for it and then ctrl h you want to click on your move to and then you also want to resize it now you want it to also be underneath the image that way it feels like a part of it is hidden the space there is too much so let's go and let's set it to 45 let's set it to 47 awesome and then ctrl t again click on your text tool and type here and then go and pick this the zimba and then paste it there we are however going to use the font ariel and then let's set this side the tracking to thousand Ctrl T and then let's resize it. Now I am holding Alt whilst I am doing it. Click my move to and then drag it all the way here. Now guys, you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep it the same, you know, angle like that. The size should touch there a little bit. Now that is great. I also want the spacing here to also be the exact spacing there. It makes it quite realistic and quite professional as well. I'm going to duplicate the birthday. Then I'm going to pick that then i'm coming to paste it there now i'll move it all the way here 
I'm going to use a different font for it because I want the, the plus sign to come. So I'm going to pick luckiest guy and then I'll drag luckiest guy all the way to this side. We now need to give it a specific color. I'm going to give it FF6600. Then I'll go to December, come here and then pick in as well. Now guys, let's put everything in a group and let's call it HBD. We are done with that. You also want to make sure it is really centered nicely. It looks like it's centered. We are good to go. Let's bring in some extras as well. And with the extras, I'm going to bring in that. I'll drag it all the way into Photoshop. I think this is all right. Now I'll double click it and I want to give it color white. So I'll go to color overlay, click on that and choose color white for it. Let's also go and bring in that and drag it all the way into Photoshop. Now I'm going to drag it this way like that. Ctrl J to duplicate it, Ctrl T to transform it, right click it and then flip horizontal and then drag it all the way here. I'm going to give it a mask and then I'm going to mask the edge like that. Put the two of them in a group, call it Converti. It's not really a Converti though. Okay, so you want to open it, select the two of them and then set it to, all right, linear dodge. Close it. Now I want you to give it a level and clip it to it. With the level, we are going to leave the beginning and the end the same. I want to drag this. All right, so around uh, 0 0.7 is okay. Bring your brush, set it to color black. Now this is the trick. You want to set, you want to mask or hide the one that you really want at the end. So which one do you want to stay at the end of the day? I want this to stay. So I'm going to set it to black go to this one and then mask it this one okay let's hide that one that means at the end of the day i want that one to show i also want this one to come so i'm going to mask it out then i want some blurry ones as well i want this one okay so that is it now double click it and then choose invert so we have these ones now it's time to refine it a little bit more okay it looks realistic now awesome and then we also want to bring in another ribbon this one drag it all the way into photoshop and then release it and then let's drag it there now i think this also looks good let's put everything in a group and then let's call it extra we are done with our extra let's bring in some glues too so i'm gonna i'm gonna the glue i'm gonna give is the blue glue here i want it to be in the background so i'll click on my alt and go and pick that one and then go and then set it a little bit up caps lock off increase the size and then hit hit there like that then i'm going to set it to let's see color dot let's reduce the size that way we can duplicate it and bring it on top of the image and then bring it to the neck area there and then reduce the opacity all the way down to make it and maybe even set it to um screen let's see set it to linear dodge blends nicely and maybe raise the opacity up now this one let's put it in a group let's call it glow and we need to bring in more glows here so let's click on the new layer and then hold alt and pick yellow in the background set it up to around this point now if i let's pick orange colors here so go and set it up there and with that one let's also Make sure caps lock is off, decrease the size. First one I'm going to hit is here. Then I'm going to set it to color dodge. And then I'm going to set this down a bit. Oh, uh, some duplicate it and then reduce the size. Duplicate it again. This one, drag it here and then increase the opacity. Duplicate it again. This one, drag it down here. All right. And then maybe let's change it to linear dodge and then let's put it all in a group and then let's call it glow awesome let's bring in the name let's bring in the name now guys remember i gave you a little assignment <laughs> okay and i want to show you i said tutorial loading type your name and date of birth for usage in the next b-day flyer and then this guy sent me this okay precious precious so careful he said December 23rd. So I'm going to use Precious or Carful's own. All right. And guys, all you guys, I'm also going to use your own very soon. So I'm going there and I'm going to paste it there. 
I'm going to set the tracking to zero and then um, let's click here and let's move it this way. Now I want caps lock off. Let's go and let's choose reach italic or italic. Control H, Control T. Let's drag it here. We want to choose color white for this. Now let's duplicate it and then let's bring it down. Now we don't know Okafor's position. We are just going to assume he's the CEO of Okafor's Limited. Okay, whatever it is, you can just put it there. And then let's come and then let's choose Arial. Make it all caps and then let's edit it more. Make it quite smaller. Enter, drag it somewhere here. And then let's go, let's choose both. That way it stands out. We also want to make sure it's in the middle. It's precious or careful in the middle as well. Also in the middle. Now let's put these two in a group. Let's call it name. Let's bring the name down a bit more. And then also Control Alt Shift and then E. Right click it and then convert to smart object. Now I want us to go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. Let's apply some few filters here. Let's go to basic and then temperature. Let's drag it down. Let's drag contrast up. Let's drag highlights up. Let's drag shadows down. Let's drag white up. Let's drag black down. Let's drag the texture up. Let's drag the clarity also up a little bit. Let's drag dehaze up a little bit as well. And then let's come to vibrance. Let's drag it up. And then um, let's close it. And then let's go to effects. Now green. Let's drag green up. And then let's drag the vignette down. Click on OK. And guys, we are done. It looks quite cinematic. And then also looks kind of photo manipulated. OK, so now guys, if you love this video, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well. Guys, I love you all. See you in the next video.